Well, it took all the way the second to last week in April, but BSU baseball can finally take the diamond at home. The Beavers have been road warriors in the first 30 games of the season. That came to an end yesterday. They opened up a four game stand with Wayne State. Let's start with game one. Beavers down three in the first, but Scott Litchie finds some grass in the left. RBI single gets them on the board. The next inning, the former Lumberjack, Caleb Carlson. He smokes the base hit to right. Another run scores to cut into the deficit. That into the fourth, bases loaded back to Litchie and he unloads them. Grand slam, oppo shot and a party at the plate. Beavers up 7-3, but Wayne State steals this one late. Alex Loglin, a big reason why he knocks in four runs on the game, including this RBI triple. They score three in the seventh to take the lead and hold on to win game one. But in game two of the Beavers offense, they put up 15 as they'd win by 10. So let's fast forward to today in the series finale. The visitors get on top once again early. Travis Miller tattoos one to left and gone. Two run bomb puts them on top. BSU had the bases loaded with no outs bottom half, but couldn't take advantage. Cody Kissack grounds out to second. Threat is over, that strands the runners. Wayne State's offense is too much. Tanner Simons, a liner to right, that gets the job done with the sack fly. They hold off a late rally from the Beavers. They end up winning that one 12 to eight. And in game one, BSU, they lost 6-5. Congrats though to Scott Litchie. He recorded his 208th career hit and is now BSU's all-time career hits leader. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.